Twitter. Yo, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to 18 Friday. This is Jeremiah's J-Man Monero, J-Man Speaks, coming to you live and direct from our world headquarters here in The Rock, R-O-C, and we don't stop, Rochester, New York. Uh, and it's my great pleasure. I've been trying to get this technology expert on the show for a while now, and he keeps blowing me off like we're in high school and I'm asking for a date. Uh, but finally, <laughs> finally, we we get him on the show here. It is my pleasure to welcome Burton Kelso. Welcome, sir. What's up, man? I felt like I was chasing a high school crush, bro. Man, don't 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 even hand me that, man. <laughs> you know, I'm like you, busy, man. I, I hear that. Well, the, the paper. The, the 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 important part is that you're here. So let's right. let's, let's celebrate this moment. Uh, what well, for the folks that don't know who you are tell them a little bit about yourself um colleen brachi said yo it's my favorite dancer she said my favorite dancer you know the brachi she's awesome right um, she so never tunes in so she must be tuning in for you my friend must be man you know but yeah a little bit about me i'm uh i own a technology services company but i'm also a uh, national speaker and uh, a tv celebrity so my whole goal is that I love technology. I've read all the manuals, dude, and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for all the real estate professionals out there. So that's a little bit about me. I'm honored to have you here, sir. We don't have many celebrities. I like to say, you know, sometimes I feel like a celebrity in my own mind. What I do is I come into my studio and I just hit this applause button again and again. Right. <laughs> And I feel good. I feel good about myself. It's a great confidence booster. That's well, important. It is, right? Confidence is important, especially like you're saying, uh, oh, you know, Jeffrey Scott Stan's tuning in as well. Right. You remember him from Jay, Triple Jay, you got to have swagger, Jay. You got to have you gotta have swagger. Swagger like us. Yeah. You know, I'm, right. I'm, a, I'm a strong believer in being who you are and celebrate that. Uh, let's see. Who else? Let me see when we got some people on. Put in the comments where you're from, but we're going to get started with a little bit of LinkedIn because uh, look at as somebody who talks a lot about social media, you also have to, I think we talked, uh, Jeffrey and I talked about this a few weeks ago with a SWOT analysis when you're doing your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And like, yo, my weakness is like, I'm not great on LinkedIn. I have a, I have a presence. I have a profile, uh, but I'm smart enough to know that if I don't know, I want to ask an expert. So right. we're where can we get started? I guess if you don't have a LinkedIn, step one, start it. We're not going to talk about that, right? Right. Um, one of the first things you want to do with LinkedIn is you've got to unlearn what you've learned about LinkedIn because most people see it as a business only network. But right. if you're a real estate professional, you may think, well, I don't want to get on LinkedIn because there's nothing but business owners there. But everyone owns a house, right? And <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got a house and you, you know, that's your job as a realtor, either help someone buy a home or sell their home. So, you know, it's not like you've got this community of people on LinkedIn that are living in huts. So your audience is there. So you've got to unlearn that. Well, LinkedIn is only for business. LinkedIn is just basically a social media network that has more of a professional shine to it. Unlike say Facebook, Twitter, or even Instagram or, or TikTok. So unlearn that and just realize that you are connecting with just more professional minded people who need your services. So get on it and start say, posting. Say it again, Yoda. I feel like you were, you know, it's like, you must unlearn. That's right. You got to unlearn. You must unlearn what you, what you, what you think. Um, cause we're, let, let me say it. Stop what you're doing. Cause I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to. Right. Uh, in regards to LinkedIn. What? But yo, I'm making money. See? Yo, <laughs> get it. See, that's, that's one of the things we learned about each other. Like we could, we could quote '90s hip hop all day, but like, what's this song? One line or, or less, and Burton will start something like, "Bam!" and I'll finish it. He's like, "Dude, we must be brothers from another mother, man." It's like, uh, that's it's great. right. But so with with the LinkedIn, getting back to like, of course, they're the majority of those folks own houses, but like, isn't the average net worth of a person on LinkedIn or the average salary even higher than if they figure that out on Facebook or the other other platforms? 
Oh, definitely. Yeah. You're looking at people that are in, uh, that obviously are making a lot of money that are linked in. So more professional network, you've got people who have disposable income and that's the audience. Well, hopefully that's the audience you want to get into as a real estate professional. You know, you don't want to, I mean, obviously home sales are easier when you've got people who don't have to necessarily worry about financing. Um, so yeah, you, this is definitely the network that you want to get on, you know? So to get started, you know, like many people, if they got started in real estate, somebody told them like, Hey, um, you know, get, get your profile, get your profile done. And they go in there and they put a photo and, the, and now seven years later, nine years later, 12 years later, 30 years later, it hasn't been around that long, but they haven't done anything else or they didn't finish it even. Right. So what do you think the step yeah. one is to go in and kind of update everything? Oh, definitely. And you, um, obviously you need to get a professional headshot done. And in today's day and age, that's really not a hard thing to do. Cause I know some agents don't want to go out and, uh, spend money on headshots, but I know there's a lot of places that they have headshot happy hour. So put that yeah. on your radar. As far as if you want to go out and network, maybe you go to the events that are doing headshot happy hour. I know when we were triple play, uh, I got my latest headshot from a group of, um, Jewish uh, finance people that were just oh, yeah. get in line, get got your headshot. Credit. Got credit people, I think, or somebody. Yeah, they got credit people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but another thing you should take in consideration, too, is you need to change that headshot at least, I would say, maybe every six months, but no more than uh, once a year. Change that headshot up because whenever you change that headshot, it'll let your uh, followers know that you've got a new headshot. And so you're broadcasting out to a group of people that you're live and breathing and kicking on LinkedIn, you know? Yeah. I've, I'm, I'm finding that a lot as I do different events too, that that's one of the things, the vendors or the people that they'll have at the event is like, Hey, free headshots. And people are like, no, I'm like, no, no, everybody go get your, I saw your photo, go get it, go get a new right. one. Cause <laughs> your you know, photo. <laughs> <laughs> you had that 1990s glamour shot on like, there and it's time to update it. Right. Or, hey, hey, Jay, Jay, you yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> seriously, seriously. Right. Oh, yeah, so, so updating it. The other thing I was going to throw out there, too, with photos is that banner. You were talking about your LinkedIn profile. Oh, yeah, yeah, a, yeah. Banner. And I hope everyone in real estate real, loathes this. Canva. Jay, you know Canva, don't you? I love uh, Canva stays open on my computer all day. I would oh. say almost every day. And Canva's free. And if it's free, it's me, man. You got to use Canva. And for those of you who if don't know free, Canva, it's me. that's right. If you don't know Canva, it's basically Microsoft PowerPoint for free that you can access anywhere in the world. And it has different templates for things that you do on social media. So if you're looking to create yeah. a banner and make sure it's going to fit in that, in those dimensions, go to Canva and just create a, a banner. Uh, for your LinkedIn profile and make sure when you create a banner, it needs to say what it is that you do and how you help people because you can put that you're the best real estate agent in the world, Nobody but cares. it has to be a banner that is going to allow people to know how you're going to help them out. Yeah. I mean, it's like the, the stuff where you're like best realtor in the universe. It's like, bro, dude, no one cares. I don't care. No one cares. What, how is care. it going to help me? And you always have to That's think right. like as the consumer, as the client, uh, whatever your message is, whatever your marketing message is, how will it benefit them? Everybody's favorite radio station is W I I F M. What's in it for me, right? Or that eighty song. What have you done for me? Oh, lately? what have you done for me lately? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Who's saying that? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Was that Paul? No, it was Janet Jackson. Oh, man. it was JJ. I'm yeah. sorry, boo. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry, right. Miss Jackson. If you're nasty, right? Remember <laughs> that. <laughs> oh man, that's 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 funny. Oh, uh, so so Canva though, I do think here's one of the things where I love free stuff, and sometimes just the principle of it, I don't upgrade because I'm like, screw you. You're not getting my money. Too many people are getting my money, right? And right. so I didn't upgrade to Canva Pro for the longest. I would go to like a royalty free image uh, site like like Unsplash or Pixabay. I would snag photos there. I would upload them into Canva. If I wanted to remove a background, I'd go to another free app, remove my background. And I'm like, 
during the during the pandemic, I did so much video stuff. I'm like, I, I can't I can't do this anymore. So I paid for the money. It's worth it, guys. The pro version is worth it. I'm gonna I I, I feel you. Do but it. I'm still Just using do it. free Canva. Just do it. I'm telling you, it's one of those things where you go, where you go, oh man, I, I don't know how I'd live my life without it. It's, it's oh, one of really? those serious. It's, I would have, I would, cause look at, I upgrade sometimes and I'll tell the world, yo, not worth the upgrade. I think Canva Pro is def definitely, but I, I love what you're saying because it's, it's not just PowerPoint. It, it's a graphic, it creates a graphic designer in you that you never knew existed. Cause when you have the templates in there, you could just go LinkedIn, uh, banner. It has the dimensions and then it even has some nice templates where you're not a creative person. You just go, I'm taking this dude's picture out, putting my picture, changing some words and look at that. I designed right. it. Right. So I, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, um, it's like you had water with the free version of Canva and then all of a sudden you tasted Evian with yeah. the paid version. <laughs> That's it, man. Look, see, I did a quick shared screen. Um, here, I'll make. I'm gonna make my cameras just a little smaller so you don't get envious of my. I'm not envious, man, because I got my. Uh, I got my got credit uh, picture on my LinkedIn profile, man. I'm, <laughs> That's true. I'm ruling the world. <laughs> you get more screen time, so it don't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's. That's uh, what you're talking about here. And actually, I'm gonna go here, Squirkle. I want to have a Squirkle like you. That's what it's called. Well, the, the image, the video feed that we're in right now is called a squircle. It's not a square. It's not a circle. It's a squircle. It's a squircle. That's a good uh, one. I like it. Yeah, today's, today's word of the day. So this is what you mean by the banner, right? <laughs> right, yeah, where the Burton Kelso is. And technology expert, Tech TV expert, person. TV personality, speaker, entrepreneur. 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 I love that. So let's a little bit about... Um, When you say like TV personality, when you first put TV personality on there, you were not yet a TV personality. Am I right? No, I've been doing TV stuff for probably. Well, I mean, I'm saying the very first time you put it on there, right? I know you've no, been doing it for a while. No, no, that's, uh, you know, that's probably within the past two or three years that I've yeah, so, added so that on my banner, my, yeah. My point in saying that is that you can't be known for something if it's, it's like chicken or the egg, right? But you put it there, then when somebody's looking for a TV personality, even if you did one interview your entire life, you were on TV. I was on that one right. news broadcast. Uh, you right. know, I might have been in front of a crime scene with my just my real estate sign there, but I was there. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I, I think that's important because it, they'll come here first, right? When they do searches right. for for interviews and stuff like. That. Explain that process of. If like, maybe I'm not trying to be a TV personality, but I'm a, I'm a local realtor. I know a lot about the market. I, I right about now they're doing a lot of interviews for like the real estate market of 2021 and what people expect in the future. How, how can we do better with that? Well, um, many agents probably don't know that LinkedIn is probably getting higher ranking on Google than your real estate website. Uh, social media platforms do that. And LinkedIn is, is, especially one of the ones that gets tops in Google. But when you're creating your profile, as Jay's got mine up, you can see some of the hashtags and some of the terminology that I'm using in order to uh, get those um, SEO links to get my myself in a higher position. So when you're making your bio or your intro profile at the top, you wanna make sure that you're adding in those keywords. So if you're in Rochester, you definitely want to throw that in there. You want to throw real estate agent in there, uh, top selling, buy, sell, key words that are going to make you raise up over your competition, Jay, because as we all know, dude, there can be only one, right? That's it. There's only one. Wait, I hope that's not in reference to what we're... It's too soon, bro. No! It's too no, soon. Man, it's you hit me where it hurt, bro. Hold on. <laughs> I'm not doing that. All right. That's so got, hold on. Let me come back here for a second. Got, um, I'll give you guys what we're talking about. Burns from Kansas City. Okay. And you guys follow me. You already know I'm a diehard Buffalo Bills fan. So when you talk, want to talk the forgiveness in my heart to be doing a live stream with this dude less than a week after. 
that beat. He crushed my soul. <laughs> That's love. I man. was not referring to that. I was referring to Highlander and the entrepreneurial oh. struggle in the industry that we're all competing to be nice. tops. Nice, nice recovery. Well, only one person gets the listing, right? I mean, that's right. You and, know, and I'd, I'd like to say, and I, I think I was talking about this the other day, but 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you walk into an appointment cold. Nobody knows who you are, right? Before the Google. Nobody knew right. who you were unless you had a big telephone ad, telephone book ad, and, and some of the like the Z Jenners are like, "What?" I'm like, "That's what we use to boost you up in the seat, kids." Right. Okay, um, but unless you had a big telephone ad or you had a big market presence already, or you did billboards or stuff like that, that offline marketing that existed before the internet, you had to spend a lot of time in the beginning building trust, building rapport, getting them to to know you. Now in the information age, one search. That's right. Right. That's right. You know, it's um, but I will go back on that and say that it's still about building trust. Obviously, we're doing it. Oh, yeah. But a lot of that's being yeah, done. I, I, they're going to they're going to cyber stalk you in a, in a good way, in a professional way. You know, let me do a search. I did Burton Kelso. OK, look it. I'm going to come back over here because I wanted to do the search first before I made sure what came up. What do you think? Coming up. <laughs> Look at right here. Burton Kelso is an on-air tech expert and consumer, right? Burton Kelso, technology expert. Burton Kelso is a technology Wait, expert. Stop, Twitter. Stop right okay. there. Go back. Go back, Jay. Go back. What's the second search option that came up under Google? LinkedIn. Boy. Yeah. Hold on. It deserves this. <laughs> Get one of them air horns and then one of these. What? Yeah. So people don't realize that. That's why you've got to get on your LinkedIn game and build a profile and become active on LinkedIn because Google is going to bring up LinkedIn. Look at this. Quicker than your own website. Look at this. Is there any other Burton Kelso on the planet, bro? I feel bad there for whatever. There probably is. There whoever probably they, is. I, remember, like, Jay. Man, I can't. I keep, they keep hey. digging in this guy. Yeah. There can be only one, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. All right. Let's, let's bring him back over here. But it, I mean, the proof is in the pudding, right? So is right. there anything uh, that you do differently? Hel help us maximize that opportunity. What what can we do? Because I'm doing a bad job. I I forget about it. I don't post for weeks. Oh, help yeah, that's that, that's number one, man, is you've got to be active on LinkedIn. And LinkedIn doesn't really care and your followers really don't care well, you've got to be in good taste as far as your posts, but at the same time, you have to at least be active three times a week. I mean, obviously the ideal is to be active every day on LinkedIn, but the whole idea is to make sure that you're sharing something on LinkedIn. It doesn't matter if it's an inspirational quote, something silly you saw on the internet. Uh, LinkedIn has even grown now that if you're a TikToker like Colleen is, you can definitely Colleen. take your TikTok videos and, uh, put them on LinkedIn, you know? And I saw Amy asked a question and the question, yeah. the answer to the question she asked about is which version of LinkedIn am I using? What did I say earlier? Jay, free. you know, free. Cause free I'm free. Free falling, baby. Free falling. <laughs> free falling, cause I'm free falling. But yeah. Tom Petty. Uh, it's Tom a free Petty. version. Tom Petty, baby. Yeah. Tom Petty. May he and rest the heartbreakers. in peace. Yeah, you know, aren't you part of that club, Jay? No, no. <laughs> hey, make sure while you're gone, you're putting the coffee pot or the coffee cup under the coffee maker, right? Oh, bro, listen. So funny, another funny story that it's very easy to distract me. But I was um, during that five minute content. If I haven't made my coffee yet, I'll run and go make it. But we have a an office coffee maker that makes a whole pot. And I don't have the patience to wait for the pot because I only got five minutes. So I'll put my coffee cup under there. Many a time, I'll say more than three is many a time. And this, when you get the office folks mad at you for doing it, uh, I'll, I put the thing and then I'll come back and then I start my live stream and like, oh, she, I forgot my coffee. It's overfilled onto the floor. <laughs> like, they're like, Jeremiah's. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm live right now. I can't. I'll, I'll clean it up after. Yeah, I got Maybe it. you just need to get a bigger mug, you know? I should get, get like a, a like a forty ounce of coffee, like just a like yo man, because really coffee. I wake up, 
with this much energy, the coffee is more like comfort, like right. a comfort liquid, I guess you'd call it. I don't right. know. Cause it doesn't, it actually, it actually calms me down. Kind of like what Ritalin would do for somebody with ADHD. Right. But if you don't have ADHD and you take Ritalin, then you get hyped up. Similar concept. I got it. All right. So, so I derailed us. Um, you said the free ver so the premium isn't isn't worth it. That's not worth it. I think the premium is worth it if you're trying to do um, more person to person contact with unknowns. But if you're just trying to use LinkedIn to develop relationships, all it takes is a nice personalized greeting to someone you don't know. So, like, let's say you're trying to build up your connections in New York or Rochester, Buffalo area, wherever. You can definitely do a search by city, by zip code, and then you can just start reaching out and touching people by just doing a nice personalized introduction on LinkedIn so that you can build up those connections. And the free version, I mean, has done great. I'm up to, I think, 17,000 uh, connections on LinkedIn. So it's just been organic reaching out. And I'm a savage, yeah. <laughs> it, it was, it was a humble collar pop, like, you know, I think I'm up to like, yeah, who's counting, you know, 17,635 connections. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm all happy, like, I got 5,000, yeah, but it's like I haven't been working it. So I, I like the, and it, of course, you got to be consistent, but right. but you're, do you really want to, you don't want to post the same content, like, right? It's not this, do you want it to be more professional and then pepper in just, or just, kind of reuse whatever you're using in the other other places like could i take this video because i don't like using restream i don't like i don't like the four i have it i have a pro account but i don't like their interface as far as we're like you see how we're looking at the comments and we're like can put that on the screen restream's not as good for that in my opinion but i can take this we'll have a recording of it i can then stream it to my youtube channel and linkedin do you think that i mean obviously we're talking about linkedin so it would be but I mean, any kind of video content and there's there a limit, I think, is there 10 minutes or is it an hour? What's what's the limit and what 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 performs the best? If you thought I had to. You know a lot about what you're letting on. So, yes, there is a 10 minute video limit on LinkedIn, but I think they're in, about to lift that because okay. obviously videos taken over social media. But, yeah, something like this would be perfect because there are a lot of people that uh, post uh, long form videos on LinkedIn. So you've got LinkedIn Live, where obviously you can use Restream, your favorite product or other products to uh, stream directly to LinkedIn. But people post long form videos on LinkedIn. And obviously, if it's a video, it's going to get longer legs when you post it as opposed to, um, you know, as opposed to just a standard text post or a picture post. So yeah, it's I mean, it's perfect. Cause you know, my, my, what I, I've started doing because I'm like, man, I got to up my game cause I'm going to have Burton on soon and I want him talking poopy about my LinkedIn profile. So let me, let me step it up a little bit. Well, and, and it goes to the fact like, look at, I don't ever want to be the biggest fish in the pond. I just want to find bigger oceans to swim with bigger fish and always keep upping my game and, and surrounding myself with people that are better than me so that I can, it makes me want to be better. And <clears throat> I was going through, like I go through, like I'll go through this and I might cut it up into 10 minute segments or like when you drop a knowledge bomb, I might take that like a little two minute quotable of something that you said. Um, and then, then I have all these pieces of content and I kind of started thinking, I learned a lot from my kids and here's, here's, here's why. Cause they watch so much YouTube and YouTubers, obviously if you have 10 million subscribers, you're doing something right. Right. I mean, you're doing oh, something yeah, right. The, the formula and most of their, most of their videos are 10 to 12 minutes. Right. And, and some of the other things that they do on there, but, uh, the real, the real thing that, that, that like the epiphany that happened the other day, cause I was always getting mad at my kids. Cause I'm like, you watch somebody playing a game. Why don't you just play the game? Right. right. But then my six year old watch this guy on Minecraft, right? do something cool, built this thing. He then opened up his Minecraft and did the same thing. I was like, he just watched a tutorial. He just watched right. a tutorial on the get yo. I'm like, Shh. so it's really the same thing that we're doing as real estate professionals, as speakers. Like we're teaching you something, educating you on something, 
But at the same time, there has to be, and I call it edutainment, right? There's an entertainment factor that, that keeps them coming back. You agree? You nailed it. You nailed it. Yeah, I agree completely. I mean, it's like, I know we keep throwing these quotes out there, but it's like people look at your profile and you need to be asking the famous question, are you not entertained? You know? <laughs> are you not entertained? That's, I mean, it's, it's true. Yeah. Because it's, it's got to be an entertainment value. You can't be posting house listings. You can't post about what you're going to offer. It's more about the nuggets. What informational pieces are you sharing with your LinkedIn audience? What funny things are you sharing with your LinkedIn audience? What inspirational things are you sharing with your LinkedIn audience? Because people go, I mean, especially with you, Jay, they follow you because of the whole ball of wax as far as what you're offering on all your other social media platforms. And that's how you keep followers. That's how you sustain relationships. And that's how you build trust. Well, and I think that long term, if you're going, if you want to translate online to offline, as we open and close, open and close back up again, um, it's when you meet the people, <clears throat> right? It's that when it, when the person online is the same person, right? Like, all right, this dude's a real deal. Or as there's been times I've, I've, you know, I, I meet somebody that I look up to and I ask them a question about something that they might have talked about online. And they're like, oh, I, I don't do that. I just talk about it. And it was almost like the wizard behind the screen. It crushed me. I was like, <laughs> what do you mean you don't? I did everything this guy was saying, everything to the T, like everything. And he was like, oh, right. I don't do that. I just talk about it. And I was like, wah, wah. Right. Me, I will say this with my LinkedIn experience is that, you know, I, there's, agents out well i should say there's there's people in general but real estate agents also need to realize with linkedin that linkedin still is kind of that lurker network that yeah. you may throw some information out there and maybe you get crickets but then when you meet people face to face like jay was just talking about it's more about yes you you're meeting the person but then people will recognize you from linkedin and you're like buddy i have no clue who you are so Keep that in mind when it comes to LinkedIn, because I think with most social media platforms, we're always looking for that instant gratification. We post something and then we wait and and look to see how many likes and loves and all that other stuff we get. But with LinkedIn, especially, it's an entertainment pe process. And the more that you're entertaining and the more that you're posting, the more people will see your post on LinkedIn. Dude, it's so bad for me here that. I'll go out and then people will say, Hey, you know, I follow you on LinkedIn. And it's like, I, I don't know who you are, man. I, I don't say that out. <laughs> I just wanted to show you. This is, like, this, this is, this you know, my, I, this I is see my him and I'm like, Hey. Oh, yeah. You're like, Hey, how are you? Great to see you. But this is my Are You Not Entertained pose. I just wanted to pull that up on the screen real quick. I love that. Are you not entertained? Okay, then I'll pull it back out. I love it. Um, I love it. But one other thing I was going to mention too with LinkedIn, if you're trying to get started with LinkedIn, you're a real estate professional, make it to the 500 Club for the, I'm going to do my William Shatner, for the love of God, Scotty, get at for least- For the love of God. Yeah. Right. Get to at least 500 subscribers or followers on LinkedIn. You got to get- you gotta, it's, it's easier than some of the other platforms, right? Because it's it's very reciprocal, right? If typically if you connect with somebody, they're gonna, you know, if you have mutual connections and stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah. But you gotta get the five hundred. <laughs> you sound you sound confident, bro. You're like, I'm like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> sure. Sure, Jay. <laughs> what what uh Yes, I wholeheartedly agree with you, Jay. Yes, I yes. <laughs> so as far as like I had my profile, I filled it out. You can then export your contacts or you sync it with your contacts, right? Is that what you do to see if you have connections on there? If you haven't been on there before or tell me what's Jay, you don't want to export contacts from LinkedIn. I mean, no, not, not, not from LinkedIn. I mean, not export importing like, 
whatever the, yeah. I can't remember. It was so long ago where they go, Hey, um, do you want us to sync with your contacts to see who you right. know that's on LinkedIn? That's what I meant. Right. Yeah. Yeah. She can do that. I thought, dude, I thought you were going down the, the spam trail. I'm like, what? You're going to no, export? bro. Are you kidding me? I'm a permission based marketer all day. <laughs> I have to say, like, who am I talking to, dude? Feel like, like see you were like i feel like i don't know you anymore jay I, know, oh, right. I was crushed it's like oh man <laughs> no so in there and, and, and you create connections uh tracy has got a good question here or a statement i guess i seem to get a lot of randomness uh on linkedin and, and that's kind of true too right there, there you gotta what's a good way to kind of uh get through the clutter of the spammers who are like, Jay, we have an opportunity for you to open a farmer's insurance agency. You're the perfect person. You got to terminate them, man. People start sending you spam. Just get rid of them, man. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, because your social media network, your LinkedIn network is based on what you create. So if you create or you follow or connect with a bunch of uh, idiots, you're going to get idiot content on LinkedIn. And then it's kind of a flip side too, because I'm one of those believers. If someone sends me a connection request, dude, I'm going to accept it, you know, because I'm out there building relationships. But the minute you send me some spam, dude, you're done. And you've got to clean up your LinkedIn profile so that you're connecting with like-minded people that believe in sharing good content, but then also to are referring you on to good connections. You don't want people that are connecting and trying to spam you. So, um, yeah, definitely make sure that you clean up your LinkedIn network connections because you don't want that junk, you know, and that's how you eliminate the random randomness. Excellent. Excellent. Well, and people won't know. The other thing I was going to say too, G, uh, Jay, people won't know if you disconnect with them on LinkedIn. It's kind of like one of those silent things. I mean, you don't get a message saying, oh, no, you're no longer connected. It, you can kind of just block them or, you know. Dude, I wondered why I couldn't find you. And then, no. <laughs> uh, so Bi Billy's got a good question. Is it a bad idea to repurpose Insta Reels or TikTok vids to your LinkedIn? No, people do it all the time. It's not a bad idea at all because with social media, you want to repurpose that content. But I will tell you this, any on any of the social media platforms, especially LinkedIn, make sure it's organic video or, or organic photos you don't want to share any links of any kind so natively let me just simplify it for them natively upload so if if you have something in tiktok don't just copy the link and then paste it into your linkedin do do the extra step of downloading that video to your device and then uploading it to linkedin right and it's same thing with because you could do the same thing with your insta reels everything else um, if you need an app for that, I have one where you could just copy the link from any of the platforms and then it'll download the video to your device. Hit me up. I got to look it up if you really want to know, but I'm, I'm live streaming on my phone now, so I can't. So I'm can't. looking at your, I'm looking at your mic. Is that Superman? Hell yeah. What you mean? Uh, oh, here, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. don't do it. Hold, okay. Boy, don't do what? Okay. You're going to show me. Okay. I'm showing my connection or Hold connection. On, wait, behind. Gonna, I'm going to bring you back full screen. Here we go. Boop, boop. Oh, bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Oh, wrong way. Yeah. Look, Superman's next to Wonder Woman. Okay. Uh, you got, got the whole, yeah. the whole crew there. Let me hit you with some, I think I got some super music. Here we go. Superhero music. That's so, my go-to. I'm Batman, the opposite. Batman's Batman. your favorite? It's your favorite? Batman, yeah. yeah Look, it, favorite, I, I just want to say he got a little lucky, kind of cheated when he used the 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 weapon against the Superman and put him in the bottom of the... But then who who came crawling back? You know what I'm saying? He's Right. And that infamous question, you know, uh, save Martha. Why did you say that name? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say that name? <laughs> uh, this is this is a lot of fun. Uh, wh what else with with LinkedIn? How else can we use it? Uh, I I always like to say like if you have companies that are relocating human resources that kind of stuff, 
it, it let's talk about connections. I, I, I like this because this is a good way. I got a listing the other day uh, because I looked them up and I saw that they were alumni of the high school, private school that my son's going to go to. And right. Automatic like, oh, AQ, AQ, baby. Oh, they don't care if I sold one house in my whole life. Right. It was that connection. So do you, I, there was an app that I used for a, for a little bit that would sync what the appointments I had in my calendar across all the platforms, including LinkedIn, to tell me a little bit about the person I was going to meet with so that I could kind of, is that a good strategy or what do you think about that? No, I think it's a perfect strategy because most people, when they fill out their LinkedIn profile, it's got their whole life story on, on there. So you can instantly go to their profile, read, see where they work, kind of find out what their interests are. And then you get a little bit uh, understanding of that person when you meet them face to face. Because the whole idea when you meet people is that they want to feel like you care about them. So if you're throwing up old stuff, then um, like, yeah, I saw when you, you and your family went to the beach. You're like, oh, you know, how was that? So find out what their interests are, who they be with. Right. Yeah, that's right. Going to be here for a while. I'm going to call my crew. You can call you your crew. Call yeah. Oh, rendezvous <laughs> we'll the bar at the, around two. at the conference room around two. This is a professional. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's hey, oh, just a, a you couple of invite people, so be sure to tell your friends and I'll tell my friends. <laughs> and 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 guess we what? Be we friends. can be friends. <laughs> Yo, we can do this every weekend. Uh, this is that's funny. This shit. So, like, if if I came in here, let's say uh, Bert and I. And, and this is another thing. If you're going to go to a conference and you're going to, and there's certain speakers you want to check out, right? Knowing if you come up to us and you know a little bit about us or you want to meet, like we're always willing to go the extra mile and help someone out, right? I, we don't want to get, we're not going to give you a personal coaching session immediately after we're done speaking like some people want. Like there's a line of people and they're like, can you help me with my Instagram right now and pull out their phone? And it's like, I, 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 I can't right now. However, like those hallway discussions and we do things after, you know, like that's where the real rapport is built. Uh, but, but well, if I was going to be what with you, do, what you do with that is, uh, you make it rain, baby. When those people come up, you just start handing out business cards. Like, <laughs> Throw them up. Me, Whoever me, gets one. Yeah. <laughs> make it rain, baby. I might do that, but I get these hard plastic cards that might come down and like slice somebody's eye or something. And then I get, you know, you got to do it. You got to do it gentle with your cards. Your cards are pretty, uh, they're heavy yeah, duty. they're weapon. Uh, but I wanted to say, like, if I was going to meet, and this is just both business and, and personal, right? If I was going to meet with Burton at a conference and we had a meeting set up before I went there and I didn't know he's from Kansas City, okay? And I, before I go, as soon as we meet, I'm like, bro, listen, I'm going to say that I took this meeting, but, but we're not friends yet because I'm a Buffalo <laughs> Bills fan. Right. And then if he's a football fan because I know it because he posted about being at the game that there's automatically, even though we're not, we don't like the same team, you know, there's, there's still that rapport that's immediately built. Right. It happens right. all the time with my clients that are Dolphins fans or Patriots fans. I'm like, ah, oh, we, we could have been friends, but now I don't know. Especially those Patriots fans, man. Ooh. Oh, listen. Ugh. Oh man. That, there's nothing better right now. My brother is a Patriots fan. And for the last 15, 20 years, they've been spanking us like we were their stepkids, right? And and now I didn't even call them that day. But just <laughs> just to I, and I love what they said. They were like the perfect game, all that. But then they were like, it was like the 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 kid that finally beat up the bully and left him with right. two black guys and a fat like I I picture the Christmas story where the kid goes nuts. And he's like yeah. beating up the bully. That was the Buffalo Bills on the Patriots. Ba, 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 ba. Right, right, yeah. yeah. Started speaking in tongues. Uh, do we have any more questions? We still got a, a, a eleven people on live. That's fantastic. Lucky eleven, and we got some people on the gram. Did it all for the gram. Hey Jay, let me throw out this real quick. Um, today is National Data Protection Day, and I know that has nothing to do with LinkedIn, but I wanted to throw that tidbit out there. That sounds you know? exciting. Yeah, right. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. For... Let, me, let me set you up first. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. we have an important announcement. Today is National Data Protection Day. 
Awesome! <laughs> that is great. One other thing I was going to mention too with LinkedIn is the fact that all those jobs that may not be real estate related and you're yeah. thinking, man, I don't know if I want to put my history on there. Throw them on there. It doesn't matter if you're, um, you know, part of the PTA or you're on the board for some organization. List all that stuff because every year when you start at working for that organization, LinkedIn is going to throw out uh, congratulations on your anniversary. And it goes to everyone. People right. don't think about that. But the way I do it is all the news stations that I've been on, I'll act like, or I'll put that I was an on-air contributor. And so every year on an anniversary date, it sends it out to everybody. So then all of a sudden my inbox is flooded on LinkedIn with people saying, congratulations. And I'm like, holy cow, you know, and there's people I don't, I forgot I connected with. So I would highly recommend that you do that. It doesn't have to be past jobs, but you know, let's say you're serving on the board of NAR, you know, you can definitely put that on there because every year it's going to put that up. Any other organizations you're a part yeah. of? Yeah, even like your, your chamber of commerce, like you said, the PTA, right. all that stuff, there's tie-ins. Right, exactly. So put those on there so that you can get you, you can get that post that's just going to go out to your uh, your network. And another thing I was going to highly recommend is the whole birthday thing. At the very least, put your birthday on LinkedIn because when people rise and shine and go to LinkedIn, they'll see that, you know, do you know what today is? It's not your anniversary, but it's your birthday, you know? Oh, sure. And it goes to all your connections. It's your birthday. Go short. It's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> right, man. So those are, you know, those little tidbits people don't think about when it comes to LinkedIn that automatically uh, sends all, all that out because people get subconscious. You know, they don't want to get old. I'm not posting my birthday, but do it, you know, because it's not giving your birth, your age. It's just saying, you know, do you know what today is? It's shorty. It's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Burton is an yeah. IT company owner and tech guy. National Data Protection Day is a holiday for him. <laughs> it is. It's True. a holiday. Man. Yeah. You walk you know, into the right office there. and you're like, hey, everybody, guess what? Oh, my. It's National Data Protection Day. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> confetti goes into the air. They're like, oh, my God. Right. Yeah. Everybody's super happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, data protection. Well. Listen, guys, if, if this is the first time you're watching Burton, I, I would definitely follow him. He has a lot of topics of interest. Uh, one that really was National Cyber Stalker Day or something like that. Uh, one that you put up, I think, just a day or two ago. Uh, yeah. And, and it's really because when you think about technology and how easy it is to track people if you want to, uh, your most recent one, go on LinkedIn, check it out. It was about air tags and um, smart tags. Yeah, the smart tags. Like I could put it in in Burton's purse if I want to follow him back to, you know, <laughs> like, man, that, that well, ball dude is cute. Well, I got to carry a purse, man. Well, okay. Your European man bag, whatever you want to call it. Right. It's fine. Purse. My your purse. purse. <laughs> yeah. My purse. Yeah. You're, you're manly enough to do it. You could do it with the bow and, the, and, and, and your purse. You'd be rocking it out, bro. Right. Oh, right. good. But I mean, it's just really good meeting. And, and like, we're both in the tech. It's a big air quotes. Cause it's like, there's so many things that we can specialize in. I won't talk about the things that he talks about and, and, and vice versa. We're kind of in different verticals, if you will. So reach out, he a man, anything else you want to say in closing? I want to keep it to just under an hour. Just, um, treat LinkedIn like a marathon, you know, act like you're J man running every day. Jay runs every day. You've got to treat it like a marathon. You can't, um, uh, expect immediate results. It's a marathon and you've got to treat LinkedIn like the long game. It, it'll definitely pay off. I've been on LinkedIn over 10 years. I got on it when it first came out. And um, I mean, it's done wonders for my business. And it didn't happen overnight. So I, I, I love that you say that because anytime we talk about anything, they'll do one thing like a week for a week. Like, Burton, I did it. I did the LinkedIn for a week. Didn't work, man. Didn't work. Right. What are you doing? It's bogus. And like, really? For a week? So it's like, you know, when you're identifying, when you did that SWOT analysis, uh, Jeffrey, you met, you met Burton at triple play. Uh, he was at triple play. 
pretty sure you met him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty now sure. Gonna, but, you know, the thing is that we could meet Jeffrey. Just connect with me on LinkedIn. That's where it all starts somewhere. The journey has to begin somewhere. And it all starts with one connection. Well, and, and when you when you take those connections offline and you really build rapport with people, like we met three times probably, but until we hung out at Triple Play, right? It's right. a different kind of rapport that's built. This like, nice to meet you, Burton, at a conference at the expo in passing is not the same as like, yo, man, come on, we're going to go, you know, grab a bite. Right. You get to read the, 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 the real people. Right. I, I agree a hundred percent. Yeah. It, it does take multiple uh, connections in order to, to meet. But one other thing I'll throw out when you go to these conferences, when you go meet people quit, I mean, yes, the old stool connection of the whole business card thing is great, but at the same time, um, take those offline connections or yeah, take those offline connections online because when you connect with people on social media, you're connected forever. So you get to see life changes. You get to see what they're doing and you get to maintain that relationship. So embrace it. All right. You're ready for some freestyle. Yeah. Oh, oh. My name is Burton Kelso and he's here today. He's gonna teach us about LinkedIn in a major way. Freestyling shit because he didn't know it was gonna happen. But I'm gonna go and I'm gonna keep rapping because here comes Burton. He's coming through. Talk about LinkedIn the whole day through. Got the bald head and he likes to dance. But you know that we should not wear pants. If we're on the Zoom or we're in a digital world, we can have some fun. Go ahead, Burton. Oh, go. Oh my gosh, here we are. Burton Kelso coming through, knowing this stuff. Here are you hanging out with Jay Manning. Here is the everything, man. Trying to get personal media in your veins. Check it out. It can be no pain. That's all I got to do. Let's go, folks. Jeremiah's Jay Manning. I'm here with Burton